Hi everyone and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Over the last month I've been working very hard on a course that I've promised for quite a while. It is all about creating awesome and custom user interfaces from its concept and design stage to the actual development in Xcode. In this video we are going to have a look at the process of creating the cool user interface design from my course, but before that I'd like to show you a quick trailer of what you can actually learn in my new course on Udemy. Welcome to this course about designing and developing apps with Sketch, Swift and Xcode. This course is going to guide you through the complete process of designing a cool and modern iOS app and then also build it from start to finish. If you want to create apps that really stand out from the mass, you need the ability to translate a great user interface design from its concept stage into a fully functional app. And this is exactly what you're going to learn in this course. The whole experience is centered around designing and developing this cool app called Card Drop. And to do this, you're first going to learn about the main iOS design themes followed by an introduction into the sketch design tool. You'll learn everything you need to efficiently design your own user interfaces and then also build your first prototypes without writing a single line of code. And after analyzing how to actually translate the design we created into code, we're going to start building our project in Xcode. Among other things, you're going to learn how to customize different components, how to build awesome transition animations, and so much more. The ideal student for this course has basic knowledge about Swift and auto layout, and you should also know your way around Xcode. Besides from that, you won't even need a paid Apple developer membership to take part in this course. Please feel free to take a look around the course description and have a look at the preview videos. I'd be very happy to see you inside. So this is my all new course and I've added two promo links to the video description below. With the first one you can buy this course for just $10.99 instead of $180 but it is limited to the first 10 purchases. The second promo link allows for 20 purchases but will still give you a huge discount of about 88% and allows you to buy this course for just $20.99. So if you're interested be quick to get my new course at this great introductory price. Now, let's get started with the actual design process. In this video, I'd like to show you how I went from our design concept to real design mockups. Starting with an iPhone 10 artboard, I have just added a large title navigation bar to actually measure the size and also distances for the different components for a kind of custom navigation bar that is just has a black background and for the moment also no uh, bar button items. But what I like to add is a white status bar for an iPhone 10, so just chose that predefined symbol as well. And now we're adding a cool title using a custom font called Montserrat. And we're going to embed this font later in our iOS project because this is not part of the system. And to get the positioning right, I'm also measuring um, the position of the large title in our predefined symbol, um, clicking on the large title, holding down the option key to get the positions um, in sketch and then adapt our custom large title accordingly to it. And as for the different categories, I've just added a rounded rect with a corner radius of 15, 14 pixels actually and chose an image as a fill and making it 150 um, by 200 points in size. And also in addition to giving it this fill, I also apply kind of a gradient to have an option for adding my label for what actually is behind this category. This for example is the category exploration and just to make it better readable we have added this little gradient in the background that just helps by creating larger or greater contrasts between our text and the background. And this is what we just did here and since we are going to reuse this cell again and again I have created a symbol out of that and now just copying that symbol again and again just positioning them correctly again pressing the option key to get the positioning help 
from sketch and now we're just adding one by one uh, these uh, these image cells one by one so that we have a kind of an idea of what we're dealing with here in the future and now since we can override these symbols I'm just choosing different um, different background images and different titles for each of these image cells like exploration, technology, food, architecture, love, and also space. So these are just the different um, categories that we have. And now that we're satisfied with how this looks, I'm just about to actually clean up the project a little bit in my navigator on the left so that we know what the collection view is and then we're continuing with a little information button that is supposed to be placed in the top right corners just to get some information about the application that we can access later and we actually just needed the position or the distance from the right corner so I just measured that by 13 points just putting it right there and now with that done what we also need is actually the little eye as an indicator for information and I'm just positioning the eye right in the center of my circle here and just as we did in one of the previous videos I'm using the eye not as a text but as a shape as well so I'm just creating the outline for my eye in a second after positioning that really correctly because it's kind of difficult to really hit the center in, um, in a way that just feels right even if we have actually pressed the center horizontally and vertically buttons. But now that it's centered and we also have a combined shape after I subtract that, I'm also going to apply kind of an iPhone 10 frame, which is also a predefined symbol. And since the iPhone has the home indicator at the bottom, I'm also adding that. And with that, we actually have our design for the first screen ready. This is all there was to it. So now what we can actually do is copy the whole artboard and or create a new artboard and do kind of the same things again. So we're adding an artboard. We're starting out with the iPhone 10 frame in that case. And we could also name our first um, artboard. Of course, this is going to be home and overview. So this is the first artboard. The second artboard is going to be image selection or choose image. And here we again need our iPhone frame in order to get a better feeling for how this looks on iPhone 10. And then I thought about going really with the idea of deference because we're trying to put the content really in the center of our application. So and you can't go any bigger than whole screen. So we're really putting the images that we can choose um, over the whole screen and just making them a little bit darker so that we can apply some text to it later. So I've just added kind of another fill here. Let's place the status bar on top again. And this really looks cool already, but with this text, you can see that content really is king here and we can um, just use the whole screen as our display for the nice images that we have. But in addition to the text that just says swipe to choose, tap to select, this is going to be something that we need to implement later. We also need a way to get back from the selection to our overview and therefore I've just copied our information button to change that a little bit um, in order to get a back button or a cancel button. And just to get a nice X for the uh, cancel button, I actually went with a plus sign and just um, looked through different uh, font weights and different sizes until I was really satisfied. And then all we actually need to do here is to um, rotate our uh, plus sign by 45 degrees to actually get an X. And with that look, I was kind of satisfied it is positioned correctly. We have our cancel button and with that we're good to go. And we actually also have our second screen ready after adding, of course, the home indicator so that we can also see how this looks 
in this particular case. But now we already have two screens ready. We have our home overview, we have our image selection. And since I thought that the uh, send quote area or the send quote section of our application is very similar, I just copied the image selection and then we are now here in the shared car or share card section and our plan is to actually see a random quote here and since i want our quotes to be as motivational as possible i went with a little lighter color as a fill so in the case that our background image is a little bit dark we're lightening up the mood a little with this brighter white fill. But nevertheless, we're still going with our kind of black theme and adding a share card button right on top of our quote. And this is going to be the only button that you can really press in this section of our application. And this is also a good reason to make it stand out and want the user really to press this button and share the cool card with a motivational quote. So we've chosen a strong contrast between text and the background. It looks kind of nice with the rounded corners and just the little finish of inverting the background color or the color of our cancel button for the lighter background makes this whole thing really complete and I think this is a great starting point for our application. And with that I'd like to say thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for free if you don't want to miss any future tutorials, the next one is already coming next week and if you're interested in my new course just check out the links in the video description below to get a great discount, so thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.